Welcome back to another Excel shortcut. I'm David Malone from Training the Street. Today, I want to talk to you about Goal Seek. Goal Seek is a built-in uh, functionality in Excel that allows you to get close to a number, to guess a number on your behalf, okay? So let's say we have a simple projections of sales here, uh, and we're trying to get to 150 million by five years out, five years out, okay? I could try and guess this, you know, 8% maybe, uh, I'm getting close, 8.1% maybe, not quite, 8.2. You see, it can be kind of tedious to have to do this manually. Um, you could calculate things, right? Actually, there are calculations you could do for this, but sometimes you don't want to, or sometimes there's a reason why you can't. So uh, we're gonna do, you're gonna use the goal seek function here in Excel to do this for us, okay? So that is right here under the data tab, under what if analysis. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, Alt, A for data, W for what if analysis, G for goal seek. And it'll open a little box that looks like this. We need to tell it what cell we're trying to change, okay, what we want that value to be, and then what cell we're going to change in order to get to that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, set the cell. That's this cell right here. We want this 127.6 to be 150, okay, 150. What cell are we gonna change to make that happen? This 5%, this 5% cell, okay? So zoom in, let you see that a little bit closer. Uh, we're gonna change that 127.6 up to 150. Here's the, the amount by changing this 5%, all right? So let's go ahead and hit okay and let it work. You can see it kind of calculate through. It takes a few steps, takes a few attempts to make it uh, and it gets pretty close, okay? Let's take a look. 8.4%, uh, it's telling us that that's 150. If we take a look at the actual calculation here, it gets really close. It's not quite there to an exact 150, but it's pretty close, okay? Uh, and if we had done the calculation, if we had done the calculation, let's just add a few decimals here so you can see, uh, right here is where it starts to diverge, right? So we came very close to what the actual number was just by using goal seek. So anytime you need to just get close, you don't care if it's precise, uh, you can use this goal seek tool to do it.